Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemsicle and welcome to a walkthrough of a new live event in The Sims Free Play. This is the Kids Party event that came with the Kids Party update. The event comes out on May the 1st, 2018 and lasts for nine days. If you're watching this video after that time, then it's gone. The event will probably come back. They do tend to bring these live events back every so often so that if you didn't complete them, or if you weren't playing the game at the time, you can get round to winning the prizes. This live event is going to go along the same way as the other live events that we get within the game. You will get a pop-up on May the 1st to say that the event is starting and we just need to make some arts and crafts items. If you've done these events before, you will know exactly what to do. If you haven't done one before, if you're quite new to the game, it's quite a new, different concept to the quests and all the other things that we have within the game. It does give you a little walkthrough at the start to guide you through what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is to get make some candles from a candle station. There are four different stations and it will come up in your home store. There's an event items tab now, which is where your items will go. You are only allowed a certain limit. So you have four candle stations, four pottery, three jewellery and two glassware. At the start of the event, you'll only be able to place candle stations down. If you have played an event before and you have put your stations back in your infantry, you can just get them out again from your infantry. If you haven't and if, you, if you've left them out and you're like, I don't know where I've left them, all you need to do is come out onto the town map and take a look around and just collect all of the revenue. Just take a look around. So you see here, this house, it's got the party sign there. That means there are some stations there. They're the stations that we can't use at the moment, the jewellery stations and the glassware. So if you click on them, we can't use them. We need to go and find the candle stations. Here's a candle station. So you just need to go and click on it and make 50 candles for 23 seconds. The whole point of this event is to make and collect as many of these arts and crafts items. The candles, the pottery, the jewellery and the glassware. So he's made some candles here. When they have made some, they will get a little icon above their head. Go ahead and click on. And this is the event progress screen. You can see along the top, these are all the prizes that we can win. So by collecting 50, you can see that we have unlocked the chance to own the party starter. And all of these prizes for this event are the party items that we had in the inner child's quest that we got with the party kids update and i am so so looking forward to unlocking all of these prizes i really cannot wait for them the grand prize is the perfect party home template that we had within that quest as well so for me this is definitely something worth doing i really want to win all of these prizes so we've collected some candles task complete restock a crafting station so there's only so many uses for these crafting stations generally it is nine but for the first one it is two so restock for two uses for 10 seconds to complete that little task there we've restocked that crafting station we need to buy the party starter pack so that was the first item that we unlocked there so the party starter for 50 candles Let's go ahead and purchase that. Congratulations. Now we need to use the coin flower patch. So the coin flower patch is used to get constructor coins, which is always a nightmare in these events. I am gonna just set these making some candles. I would suggest that the shorter option is the best if you can get on your game. If Obviously, if you can't get on your game, you're better off to do the longer ones, but you will get more candles per hour if you can do the shorter versions of those. So you go into Home Store again and in Event Items, there's a coin flower patch that we'll place down. And if we click on it, the first one is free. And it's kind of just like the simoleon sprout in that you give it a spin and you will win a certain amount of constructor coins. Oh, oh I thought that was going to be... That's it, rubbish, one constructor coin. I really feel like they set this, that you've not got much of a chance of getting a lot of constructor coins. We got the worst one, of course we did. After your first free one, it costs 450 candles to use the spin plant 
or you can use the mega spin plant for 25 sp which is crazy expensive in my opinion and not worth doing unless you have an insane amount of sp certainly i don't ever do that i think i did do an experiment um, to try spinning that but i think it was it wasn't worth the um the 25 sp at all we have daily goals within this event that definitely is something you need to be doing. Progress screen, as well as, well as this second tab, we have the first tab here with a tick, and you can get some structure coins and candles as well, I think, yeah, and candles by completing these daily goals. And definitely, you need to make sure you're coming in and doing these for just for adding up your constructor coin value for me let me know how you think about these events if you've done them before is it the constructor coins that always kind of trip you up it's always the constructor coins for me that i'm like working toward right till the very end to get as much enough constructor coins the candles and the glassware and everything else i'm always fine with it's always the constructor coins so yeah make sure you are coming in here and doing these every 24 hours but to collect art and crafts items faster you really do just want to be coming into your game as often as you can. They're going to get their candles within the two and a half hours that they are doing this task. But within that time, they you can collect bonuses from them. These bonuses really, really do add up. If we click on someone, you can see that they're going to get 250 candles in this two and a half hours. But there is a chance to get, well, I've collected two. There was a chance to get 100 bonus candles which is incredible. They, the limit is 10 that they can carry on this shorter task. They can carry more candles. With the, the longer the task, the more bonus candles they can carry. But with this short time, they can carry 10 maximum. Within maybe 20 minutes or so, they get 10 candles. So, I mean, I know it's a lot to ask, but if you can check in with your game like every 20 minutes, just to, even if it's just like to collect the bonuses, that's kind of what you need to do. It's a very, these live events are so time consuming. It's insane to be honest but i mean i would say don't worry about it too much don't get stressed about it if you don't complete everything your progress will be saved so say you complete kind of you get halfway along you win half of the prizes whilst it can be kind of annoying at the time don't stress too much because when it does come back and they will bring it back they always bring these live events back you will just be able to continue your progress from where you left off last time Let's take a little look at the perfect party house that we will unlock. We did see this within the Inner Child's Quest, and I absolutely love this house. There is a, another version of it that when you do unlock it, you can place this house on a premium lot. And the premium house is actually really quite different to this one. Normally, with a premium house, the difference between a premium house and a standard house is just like there's a little bit of an extra backyard at the back, and there's maybe an added pool or there's not anything majorly different but with these I recommend actually make two I think they have done a tour I will link it down below in the description they've done like a, a preview of this event and they show the premium house on there and it's really quite different like the bathroom's different you get a bigger telly the even that uh, party items come in different colours I definitely want to be winning this house for the party items, but also for some of the items that you get within it. So we get like a Latin bed there, Scandinavian bed. We just get some nice items and it's just a nice house. Look, they've used the mezzanine feature there. So you just need to keep on collecting your bonuses, collecting your candles. And as you work through and progress, you will unlock the different stations. So your bar along the bottom here will eventually come along to where the pottery station is. Get those down as soon as you can. Start collecting the pottery. The same with the jewellery station there and the glassware station. Because as you can see, to unlock the items, first of all, you just need candles and constructor coins. And then as it moves on, you will need candles, pottery and constructor coins. And then as it goes further and further on, you don't need your candles anymore. But keep collecting candles because you need your candles to spin the coin plant so that you can get constructor coins. You can see it starts to be that it's jewellery and then eventually it becomes that you need glassware as well to unlock them. But always keep collecting those candles. Let's actually take a look at the next prizes. So the party snack pack is next, which, oh, look at that, like little pizzas, 
and party fries. Ah, oh, that's so cute. And some little party milkshakes. I honestly can't wait to get these. The next one is comfort food pack, which we have some hot dogs, some party burgers, and party cupcakes. So adorable. Birthday preparations is the next thing. Oh, so here are the different colours. So that is pastel that you get within the larger house. So we have pastel and vibrant party bags, pastel and vibrant party boxes, and pastel and vibrant party words. So we do unlock the two separate colours. We then get house decorations, which we have some candy jars. We also have shop posters. These like go up against the walls. They look amazing. The next pack is the pinata pack. We get an ice cream pinata, which I just love when we was doing their inner child quest and to see them like hitting their pinata and like candy fall into the ground and everything. Just the animations around it as well are really cool. We also get these party tables, an aqua one and a blue one. And then we get pastel refreshments and vibrant refreshments. The next pack is the pin the tail pack, which, oh my goodness, this is another animation that I loved. I was testing out the um, animations and how they work, how the Sims worked with the new objects when we had the house in the inner child's quest. And the pin the tail on the donkey was such a cute little animation with the Sim, like trying to pin the tail on this little poster on the wall. It was so adorable. We also get a blue table a blue short table there and some pastel and vibrant party balloons which do kind of move and they sway they're not just static which I really like that feature about those the next one is cakes and drone so excited to have a drone <laughs> in the sims free play I love my drone um in real life I have a drone and I absolutely love fly my drone and then we also get a pink party cake and a spearmint green party cake, which is kind of like an ice cream, a toppled, toppled upside down like ice cream cone thing, which is awesome. And some birthday presents. What else? We've got party tables. Wow, okay, so we've got like a two by two table in both of the colours. A long table there and then an even longer table. Oh, wow, okay, so we have a large, a medium and small. That's cool that we have the three different sizes. And then perfect party, and then that is the house there. So by unlocking, you have to unlock all of the other prizes, and then once you've unlocked and bought all of those, that is when you will be able to unlock the perfect party home template. Let's collect these candles. So there is the kids' party live event. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of it, what do you think of the prizes, what do you think of these live events in general. I go through stages with these live events and I used to really hate them. I'm in a stage at the moment where I would quite like them, but I would probably go back to like by day five maybe, I'd be like, oh my goodness, I hate these live events, they're so, so irritating, I've got to be on my game all the time, collecting these stupid arts and crafts things. At the moment, super excited. Can't wait to get into it and start collecting and start winning these things. And then, like, make a little party house. That's what I'm looking forward to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. Good luck with the event. And I will see you soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah.